And ahead of the Supreme Court's verdict, many Ghanaians have implored that the current peace be guarded since the image of the country as well as its democratic progress is at stake. Adding his voice to the call for peace, a poet, Mr. Emmanuel Kabunati, recommends that the court be given room to operate independently for the verdict to be accepted by all. An adulterated order has been maintained in our courts. But chaos still stands in the mouth of Ghanaians on our streets. In his poem, Emmanuel says some media reports have done more harm than good, and this has been frowned upon. He reminds the man on the street that the Supreme Court is the only body that has the final say. The media is getting it wrong. Our politicians are getting it worse. While you and I are being misinformed and misled. The truth, however, be told. The power emanates from the people, but it lies in the sovereign bosom of our courts. He is pleading for peace to prevail. The court is on cause. Our custom is being consolidated and our democracy being deepened. He places emphasis on freedom of speech. The right to speech has obstructed abstract development. Our loose stance have led us to disgrace. Mere anarchy is about to befall this land. Emmanuel says the court must be given the needed space to operate independently. The all-awaited truth may be stolen from the ordinary Ghanaian. If the court is not respected, the Lord justice is revered and hence their verdict. And unless you and I want to debate with guns and guns in countries like Somalia, Uganda and currently Egypt, let us give room for the court to operate, to give a firm fair verdict for the peace, unity and development of this homeland.